Okay, looked like that shot video. <laughs> okay, today it's gonna be a little different. I've been getting tons of questions from you all about how I'm creating those unique high quality one minute trailer that you see on my channel. So today I'm pulling back the curtain and sharing my creative process with you. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. Step one, spark from your brain. First thing first, if you want your trailer to truly stand out, you have to start with an idea that's never been done before. I always ask myself, what is something unique, something that doesn't even exist yet? It could be a twist on a familiar story, or a brand new world, or even completely original concept that just pop in my head. The key is, let your imagination run wild and not be afraid to think outside the box. Here's my secret. The very first spark, the initial idea, always comes from your brain. Don't use ChatGPT or any A language model to generate the core idea. Instead, use your imagination's wander around. I think about what really excites me what I've never seen before, or even a random thought that pops in my head. That's where the magic starts. Pure, organic creativity straight from my own brain. Why do I do this? Because I believe that the most powerful and unique ideas comes from within us, not the AI. When the spark is truly yours, it's authentic. It's something no one else or not even the smart AI could have come up with exactly the same way what you think. Take an example. Check this. Two women boxing and they are in the sari attire. Who will box in this costume? It's different, right? Next. Women playing with a bull. It's quite unusual, right? But at the same time, it shows women's power on it. Isn't it? Next, a girl playing basketball in the forest or jungle near waterfalls. Again, quite interesting, right? Another one, a gladiator scene recreated with the women to show they are equally powerful. So like this, a list goes on and on. You have to think either something new or existing in an unusual way. Take that spark and start building a theme or script from that. All you need is just 5 to 10 minutes to kick that spark in your brain. It could be during your morning time or while driving or while drinking your coffee or even before you go to bed. Any time when your brain is in thinking mode with no engagement, use that time to get that idea. Once I have that original idea, that's when I bring in the AI tools. I use them to help me polish the script visualize the scene and had those eye quality touches that makes the trailer shine. But remember, the heart of the story, the core, that thing makes it different. So if you wanted to create something that stands out, always trust your own creativity for the first spark. Let your brain do the dreaming and then let AI help you to bring it life. That's how you make something truly unique and that's the secret behind every trailer you see here on The World Out. Once I have the unique idea, I start building a script around it. This is where the magic happens. I focus on creating a story that's not only different, but also grabs attention right from the first second. I think about what will surprise the viewer and what will make them curious and what will keep them watching until the very end. From there, I visualize every scene, how it should look, the mood, the face, and the emotions I want to evoke. I use AI tool to help bring these visuals to the life and making sure every frame is polished and I'm having a high quality on it. The goal is to make something feel fresh, exciting, and totally different from anything else out there. So if you want your trailer to always stand out and attract the viewers, start dreaming up something new, build a script that's bold and original, and don't be afraid to experiment with visuals and storytelling. So that's the idea. Step 2. Plan your movie trailers. 
From here, we'll take an example of one of the project, a queen warrior demo, and we'll go through the steps, what all I've taken to create this video. You've got your spark, your unique idea. Let's call it queen warrior fighting against a king and winning the battle. Now, it's time to plan what is all required for this movie trailer. Define your time limit. Always try to keep your script for one minute or lesser. To be honest, no one likes to watch a trailer or movie more than one minute. So creating a video more than one minute, it's useless and it's waste of your time. Budget your video. As you all know that most of the A video generator will give you animations for five seconds and for high quality, you have to rely on paid A video generator and not the free one. Now, for one minute video, you need approximately 12 to 20 images and that can transform to 100 seconds of video. Now, you know how many scenes you need to generate one minute video, right? Yes, you need between like 12 and 20 scenes. Now, create a keyword script for this. You can either use artificial intelligence to get your script or you can use your own human intelligence to construct a script. I used to do myself to keep it more organic and also I'll keep it very simple. For this, main character intro, second, the emotions, third, heading towards the fight, and the fourth, it's kill the king and win the battle and finally close the scene. That's it, very simple. Gather all the costumes and background list like Indian queen and king attire with the sword, jewels, background with a battlefield, explosives, fire, chariot and horse. List them all, what all you need. So now you are pretty much done with your plan on the movie trailer. Step three, generate a detailed script from your keyword script for image generation. So once the planning is completed, start detailing your keyword script. Again, you can either use artificial intelligence for the prompt or your own prompt. I suggest you to try with both mixing together to get a unique image. For intro scene, it's a main character. I'll start with a queen. So the prompt is something like this. 35 year old Indian woman in a red sleeveless top and shorts with showing waist in a very wet look with the jewels and is sword in a rainy battlefield looking at the camera furiously and in the background others women are fighting with a bomb and explosives and horse and chariots, camera from the close angle. So like that, I put all the prompt there and you will get an image. If you're satisfied with that, well, download and save it. The next main character is the king. So I just put up this prompt and then I download that king. Like I said, if you're satisfied, just download it. If not, keep refining the prompt and get what you want. So now the next is emotion. King and queen showing the anger before the fight more cinematic. So just think about their anger, how you can express on the prompt. You can see here I'm saying it's camera, looking at the camera furiously and background, the other women were fighting. So you can use all these kind of keywords in your prompt to make them more emotional. So bring all the emotions on their face. Now they're heading to fight. So for heading to fight, there should be a lot of actions out there. So mention all the actions, find all the action related keywords. Now the king has been killed now. So prepare prompts based on that one. Use keywords like furious, battlefield, blood, sword, killing down, fall down, dead. So these kind of things you can use it to make the king has really been killed. So then winning the battle. So again, 35 year old Indian woman, how she's winning the battle and how she walks, how she goes back and how she feels the emotions after winning the battle. So add those stuff into your prompt. 
And like I, like I said, you can also use ChatGPT and your words, blend them all together and make your own innovative creations. So pretty much now you got all the scene. Make sure you got all the scenes you want with a high quality and you are satisfied with the quality and perfections on your images. If anything needs to correct, correct them and finalize your images because these are the images you're going to make animate going to make a video so make sure all are good to go with top-notch quality step four is generate videos for your scene or your images i use my kling ai or habacus ai for video generation both are paid and i will get a high quality videos from this tool start uploading the images and generate videos Here's the important part is camera angle move, like zoom in, zoom out, stationary, move around the subject, etc. Both Kling and Minimax have its own camera moves. You can pick them whatever you want for your scene. I use Kling AI and I will explain with the Kling camera angle movements here. So for intro, I use zoom in, zoom out to get more cinematic intro for the character. It gives attention only to the character and not anything else. Next is the scene emotion. For emotions, I'm using the camera to remain stationary to capture the full detail of the characters with the background. This will take audience deep into the scene. Now, get into your action. Get animation scene for your fight. This is where you need to spend more time and animations to get the scene more quality, clean, and more realistic. In a video generation, the fast action will distort the scene animation. So always try to make it slow. That will create your video with a more detailed and in the editing, you can just adjust the speeds to slow or fast, whatever it applies there. But when you generate, make sure you're generating with a slow scene animation. I generated almost eight to 10 videos and finally end up using like four or six of them in particular with this action. So you may lose or spend more credits for this. However, this is more important for your trailer. So remember, if you don't get a good quality videos, there is no point in making this trailer kind of videos. Next is killing and emotions. Same applies here. Use your camera angle and prompt appropriately and get the animation. On the video generations, I don't advise to add more and more detailed prompt. I recommend to keep it very simple. More you add, it will change your images and character face and actions will completely get changed. So always try to keep your prompt simple on the video generation. Example, fighting with the sword slowly and the camera remains stationary. That's it. And had a negative prompt like blur, distortions and low quality. This will help to retain an image quality and details while it generates the video. Finally, the outro scene, walking slowly with her sword and camera angle from the back view. That's it. Once you get all the video, just number them or tag them with whatever your number format, naming format and match with your image order. You got all your images and same as you got all the videos. Number them, keep it clear and in particular order. That's it. Now we are heading to the final stage. Start editing your movie. I use CapCut for my work. You can use whatever you are currently using it because editing is something like which you already know, use the same platform to do it. I'm not recommending to go for any one particular, whatever you are comfortable, go with the same editing tool. So I'm using your CapCut. So import all your videos, pick a nice background song from your editor library or your own music or your A created music. I use a generated music tools or sometimes from CapCut itself. However, 
Once I add them into my timeline, I will run my copyright checks to make sure the music is not having any copyright issues. Check with your app. If you have any such features, use it and make sure your music is copyright free. Because once you start using the music and building up all your work, there is no point in going back. You will lose all your time and effort. So make sure you got a copyright free music or you have a copyright for that particular music. Now start editing like a speed changes, cut the frames or extend the frame according to your background music. Find every details in your image video and add sound effects for that to bring real life to that video. Example, in this you see explosion, people fighting in the background with a sword, raining and chariots and horses are there. So you should add all that sounds to make the scene more realistic. Otherwise it will remain more artificial. Once you add them all the sound effects, transition, background music, everything, run your movie and make sure it's all perfect. Use headphones all the time while editing. So you will hear every single details of your video music. Once you are done, run it twice, thrice and make sure it looks everything perfect. If you are not satisfied, find what is missing and keep correcting them and run it again. Now your complete movie trailer is ready. <laughs> with your appealing title, thumbnail, etc. and publish your video. That's it. Drop your questions and whatever you like about this video and I can reply back to all your questions as much as I can. Go ahead and start creating your own high quality AI video and please share with me. Love to see your amazing videos. Happy creating.